Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to enable the caching in IIS 10 to speed up the performance of your website when the user access into the website and send the request to the server. Okay, in this of own way, sending the request from the client side to the server side for getting the data. If the caching must be enabled, so we can get the data directly from the user browser and then display it on the browser. It will be faster than we getting the data directly to server. In this video today, I will guide you step by step on how to do that configuration. Okay, let's get started. You open Internet Information Services Manager on the Windows PC, and then take a look into the left-hand side. In the connections section, we have a menu. We have a size folder. Click on arrow button to open it up. In the size folder, it will contain the list of the website e-hosting on the Windows IIS service. Here, I have only two websites. The first one is the default website of the IIS, and the second one, MVC testing dot local website. Assuming I will be using that website for showcase in this video today. Okay, you select the website, or even click on the arrow button to open the detail. Yeah, you can do the setting for the whole website, or even setting for some of the specific folder. In case if you want to setting for the whole website, you select the website here and then take a look into the main body. We have the HTTP response in the IIS session. Click on it and then it will open the HTTP response headers. You take a look into the right hand side. We have the actions. Click on set common header. It will open up another pop-up, set common HTTP response header. By default, the enable HTTP keep alive is active. We keep it alone, no change anything here. And take a look into the second option here, it by web content. I will select this one. Take a look into the radio button. We have three options, immediately, after on okay for the first option immediately it's the not useful so i will select the second option the after basically i will set the caching issue if we keep alive around one week so here i will set the the egg at day you can even set in the second minutes or in hour here by default, I will set it in only one week. It equals the eight days. You can also do some the other configuration for the date and time. Okay. Yeah. You open the set command header again to do some preview. Yeah. And the second thing, you can do the setting for specific folder. For example, I want to set the caching for the view folder. I will select the folder and then open the HTTP response header and then click on action, set command header. Yeah, you see here, because we already setting is for the whole website, so the folder will be in her risk, the configuration of the whole website. So now you have the complete setting to enable the caching on top. Browser. You can open the browser and go to the tab network for testing, or even you are the third party tool to check the animal here. Okay. I hope this video will have fun for you. Let me know if you have any question. Bye bye. See you guys in the next video.